James here. In between videos, I just added this color card in, which I'm sure you can all add. I just made it plain gray so that when we go into render view, we have a gray background instead of a black background. So what I'm going to have a look, show you here is how to add an effect. So I'm just going to pick a simple one, like a transparency, and you grab it, and you can just stick it in between. As you can see, you've now got this transparent effect happening. And that's adding an effect is as simple as that. So, but, you know, some effects, say a tone, have a mask, or I call this a mask layer, and one for your image. Now, what you need to do with these is you always have a mask on one side and the actual image that you're putting in on the other. So, let's just get rid of this transparency for now because it's demonstrated its purpose. And we'll show, just add a tone in here. And we're going to need another drawing for this, so... We've added our drawing over here. Let's break these links. And now we have a tone drawing. So let's just grab our pen. Make it a bit bigger. I should break the brush, but. So anyway, I'm now just going to add a strip of tones for it. And now, to see this, you can actually see a little bit here, but to see it properly, you want to go into Render View, and you can now see how this tone has appeared. Now, to add any effect that has these two, you'll always have a matte drawing, and you'll have the actual drawing. So whenever you see two of these appear, you know that that's the case. Now if you go back through our module library, we can have a look at some of the other things. You have a cutter here. With the cutter is actually basically just a mask, so that's just when you want part of the drawing to disappear. So if we replace our tone with our cutter, you'll see that this drawing is now cut away. that part that I took out. So you can see that's, it took me actually a while to find this because it's named differently than it is in the standard animate. So that's something you just need to be aware of. Now you can go over here and you can choose the different types of modules. I tend to like using the all modules. There's things like blending modes, oh, all the different effects here like you know, glow and all sorts of things that you can add. And now, to get to understand all of these things, rather than me going through each individual one, because there's a lot of them, what you need to do is you just go to your help, and hopefully my help will pop up. And we pick down to the user guide, and you want to go down to wherever your effects chapter is. Enhancing with effects, and then you go to that go down to using effects in Animate Pro and it has a full list here the effects so if you want to know what an effect does so let's say we are interested in the glow you just click on that and it brings you through here and it explains what the different factors are I've gone through a fair few of these effects in my other tutorials so if anyone has any specific questions about an effect, I'll do something on that. But I'm not going to go through each and every effect because, you know, there's a whole heap of different effects here that you can do a lot of different things with. And they, just to skip over them really doesn't, you know, give you the amount of depth that they deserve when, you know, th these effects are very powerful in their own right. So hopefully this has given you a bit of an overview on Network View and how to do things with it. I really like grouping up here and 
creating all my different things in groups so that my network view is really tidy. So like if I have a group this as well, I go over here. And as you can see, if you do this, it becomes much tidier. And so all I'm really looking at here is adding in effects and things like that. And so all of my actual drawings are snapped up into nice and neat groups. Anyway, I hope this sort of helped you get used to Network View and you can start to realise the absolute power of this. Oh, before I go, one thing, if you want to add a second effect, I just, all you need to do is grab it and stick it in between to you. And there you go. You now have a transparency effect on it as well. So, that's how you can add multiple effects and you just add them in a chain like that and you can add as many as you like. So I hope this helped.